Each type of relationship between data has a corresponding chart type that is best suited for representing the data set. The chart that you choose depends on the choice of the matches that you want to highlight. For this reason, you first have to understand the basic usage elements of any visualization – comparison, distribution, composition, and relationship. Comparison charts are used to compare the magnitude of values to each other. They can be used to easily find the lowest and highest values in the data. Comparisons can be among items and over time. Comparison among items can answer questions such as, which products sell best? Comparison over time can answer questions like, how do our sales this year compare with previous years? Comparison among items can be shown in different ways. The choice of the chart type depends on if you have one or two variables per item. If you have two variables, you can choose a variable width chart, or you can choose a bar chart with grouped values. For example, if we want to highlight the difference between the sales and margin for each product type, a bar chart is suitable for this type of visualization. If you have one variable per item and several categories, you can create one or more tables with embedded charts. In this example, there is a sales overview for each region that highlights the difference between the sales region and total sales. If you have only a few categories, you can use a horizontal or vertical bar chart to show the comparison between items. You can use a bar chart to show the top five customers. And you can format the chart the way you prefer to better highlight the data in the visualization. Or you can use a vertical bar chart to visualize the top five managers by sales. Since there are only a few items in these top five visualizations, the bar chart is the best chart type to demonstrate the volume difference between these elements. Comparison can also be over time, such as if you want to compare current values with previous ones to see if the numbers are increasing or decreasing. To choose the right chart in which to show your data, you first have to consider the number of time periods you have. For many periods with cyclical data, you can use a circular area chart. This example shows a radar chart that displays sales by month throughout a year. If you have non-cyclical data, it is better to use a line chart to describe the trend over time. You can use a line chart to visualize the sales by month. If there are fewer intervals, you have to consider the number of categories you have in the data. For one or a few categories, a vertical bar chart is the best choice. A vertical bar chart can be used to give an overview of sales in each quarter. If instead you have many categories to consider, you can use a line chart. For example, if you want to show the sales by quarter, but this time with details for different countries, you can obtain this by converting your existing sales by quarter chart into a line chart and adding the region field as a dimension. As you can see, the line chart gives you a quick understanding of sales in each quarter for each country. And that concludes this video. Here is an overview of the comparison scheme.